Yeah, and this team was pretty much unrecognisable. This starting 11, so many changes, of course, with one eye on that clash against PSG midweek. Overall, does this result matter? Well, well, could they, could they? We'll, we'll see. Leipzig, yeah, uh, great answer, winning um, uh, a great game and uh, a lot of goals in at Bremen. But I think that the, the decisive game for them was to beat Leipzig away. Um, if not, they would probably have had a, a stronger team today. They played 1-1 against Union Berlin. The first game uh, couldn't do it today either, but... I think there are eyes on the prize now and the, and the main prize, that is the Champions League trophy and PSG next week. So many changes I mentioned, Jan. Most of them tactical. Some of them, of course, force. How are they looking going into that game with regards to fit bodies? Well, Sule is 100% out. Right. Uh, uh, Gnabry out. Lewandowski out. Uh, and Goretzka is still a hope. There's still a hope that they can get him going, which is very important for them because that Kimmich, Goretzka kind of middle balance everything in the team it's very important for them so I think that this was a matter of just coming through this game I still think that Hansi Flick expected him to win the game but it just shows you uh, that you you need your best players a Müller assist again today Musiala great goal great balance but Ingvarsson uh, uh, equalizing for Union Berlin I don't think that Bayern had that on their bill I think they would thought they would have that uh, seven point lead uh, at the top and look comfortable and Hansi Flick, just a ray of sunshine after the game, Jan. Oh, yeah, this is uh, it's, it's getting a bit embarrassing, uh, really. But, you know, nobody will speak about the elephant in the room because it's all about now to find an end game. Mm. This is a blame game for Salah Hamidzic, who is supported by Uli Hoeneß. Uh, imagine that. Uh, he's not involved as much as before. Yeah, right. Like a Don <laughs> Corleone is always involved. And then you have Karl-Heinz Rummenigge, who supports Hansi Flick. But the thing is that Hansi Flick will end up being the German national coach. Mm. So who will then say, when that will be pub uh, in, go into public, who to blame? Because he has to break his contract. Salah Hamidzic needs to find another, a new coach. And they all know that Hansi Flick has been a perfect Bayern coach. So it's going to be interesting to follow FC Hollywood uh, in the next coming weeks. Yeah, and psychologically, are they going to be OK? Say they get knocked out by PSG. This title, as we mentioned, you're not home and host. It's still five points. Leipzig are definitely putting up a fight. Can they get their grip back on this title with regards to focus, with all the mess that's going on around them? Yeah, it's a good point, Dan, because Bayern normally are very used to this because FC Hollywood, that is a part of Bayern and they just end up getting the results. And if I'm not 100% wrong, and I, I'm, I'm wrong then and again, but next round is away at Wolfsburg. So what can happen there? Glasner has had a fantastic uh, season with, with his team and they can lose there. And if, in, if Leipzig then do their job, it's going to be down to two points. But after all these years with Bayern Munich winning the titles, we don't dare to dream of <laughs> uh, an intense end of the season. But we still have a hope, at least, that Bayern, and I've always said that, the only team that can beat Bayern Munich is Bayern Munich. And they do their best now. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.